Hi everyone, I'm Valerio and today we are diving into one of Neuron's most useful features that is uh, the tools and toolkit system. Most developers spend hours building individual tools for their agents. Based on the framework you use, you should create tools one after another manually to give agent specific abilities and it's time consuming and repetitive at least but here is the thing real production grade agent implementations don't just use uh, one tool at a time they need sets of related tools that are designed to work together and that's where the Neuron Toolkit system come in. Think about a data analyst agent, for example, that is the example we are going to create in this video. It doesn't just need to run a database query. It should learn the database structure, run multiple queries, analyze results, create reports, and all of these actions are needed to create the, the real skill that you can attach to, to the agent. So today I want to show you an example of the toolkit system using the MySQL toolkit that is included in Neuron uh, toolkit system by default. And the MySQL toolkit it gives your agent uh, everything it needs to, uh, to work with a database, connection management, query execution, schema inspection, all bundled together. So you can see uh, how easy it is to give your agent powerful capabilities uh, without writing tons of code, tons of tools uh, manually. So let's jump into the code to, to see how we can create this agent. Just for the purpose of this example, I'm using a Laravel application, but it's practically the same process regardless of the framework you are using. And I already created a database populated with some users and articles just to have some data to play with. So the first thing we can install Inspector APM Neuron AI. Once the package is installed, I can create a dedicated neuron namespace. I strongly recommend to create a dedicated namespace so you can decouple certain sense uh, the the AI part of your application as a, as a module inside your uh, your backend and here we can create the data analyst agent class to start with the agent implementation we just need to extend the neuron agent class and implement the only required method that is the uh, provider where we can assign uh, to the agent the connection with the underlying AI provider we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use Anthropic, but you have also uh, Gemini provider, the Olama provider, if you want to run your LLM locally, OpenAI for sure, and others. So this, uh, this provider class uh, gets some constructor parameters, uh, basically the, the API key and the, the model we want to use. So uh, I can create an entry into the services configuration files like Anthropic with the key, it's Anthropic API key and the model we want to use that could also get from the environment that by default we can configure cloud 3.7 sonnet and give 
this configuration parameter to the anthropic class config this is services dot anthropic model and here also services dot anthropic key the second step as usual is to instruct the agent about its role we can implement the instructions method for this that return an instance of the system prompt with the background property uh, where I can give the agent some basic uh, instruction for these examples like you are an AI agent expert in creating reports from a MySQL database. It could be enough for this example. So since we are going to create this uh, data analyst agent, we need to give the agent the ability to interact with the, the application database. So Neuron uh, ships with the uh, MySQL toolkit already available. And uh, the MySQL toolkit class, if we can take a look inside the toolkit, a toolkit in general is basically created around two important blocks that are the guidelines where the, you can instruct uh, the LLM about the usage of uh, the, the toolkit, the, all the tools available inside the toolkit, how to use them efficiently. And this instruction will go into the system prompt that is uh, uh, sent to the, to the LLM. And in the provide method, you can basically provide the list of all the tools included in the in the toolkit that neuron will automatically uh, attach to to the agent as they are available uh, individually to 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 the underlying model and the mysql toolkit get uh, as a constructor parameter the pdo instance so it's basically uh, the php system that connect your php application with the database and if you are building your application on top of the framework uh, with an orm you can easily get this uh, pdo instance from the orm itself in this case for laravel uh, we can just get the pdo instance from the database facade connection method and get pdo but it's basically a similar process if you are in a Symfony application with Doctrine or other custom implementation. The PDO instance is basically the connection with the database. So starting from this connection, the toolkit uh, implement all the tools and interactions uh, that the agent needs to, to be aware of your application database structure, how to execute query, uh, etc. The toolkit system in Neuron allows you also to exclude some tools from the toolkit if you need. So to show you this example, I'm going to shift to the a static constructor so I can attach fluently uh, the exclude method. The exclude method gets an array of uh, fully qualified uh, class name of the tools that you want to exclude. So in this, guy, in this case, I'm going to uh, not include the MySQL write tool that maybe uh, for some safety concerns 
uh, you 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 can eventually exclude the ability for the agent to write against your database so basically in this configuration the agent is only able to to read the information and to generate reports from from the database i think we are ready to use the agent so i'm going to create a console command into the Laravel application just to run an example. So here is the command. We can get here the response from the data analyst agent. Make chat a new user message and we can send a prompt like this just as an example how many votes did the authors of the articles get in the last 50 days limit limit to the top 10 users or authors maybe and print the response on screen so we can run the command up agent so now the agent is going to um, understand called tools understand the database structure uh, create the, uh, the query and here it is the result where we have top 10 authors based on the total votes the article received in the last 30 days this uh, output is in markdown so basically with the, some front-end stuff it could be rendered as a, an html table as a good report to to see as you saw in this example the agent took some seconds before providing the, the final response. And it was because uh, there was some back and forth conversation between the model and the agent, uh, the tool selection, the tool execution. And this process is not as predictable as we are used to thinking in normal software development, at least. And because there are some questions that can arise like uh, why is the model taking certain decisions or what data is the model reacting to and to connect the agent mm, with the inspector monitoring dashboard is really simple because you just need to put the inspector ingestion key into the uh, your application environment variables and once this key is present into the environment uh, the agent automatically is able to send the monitoring data to your inspector account in the inspector dashboard we can see the execution of just a few seconds ago and if we go into the details we can see uh, all the internal execution flow of the agent with some you know most important uh, step are for sure the tool call the first tool call was the analyze mysql schema and the tool uh, get back to the agent with a complete description of all the uh, database tables, the relations between tables, foreign key. And the second step uh, was the uh, call to the execute select query. Here is the, uh, the select that the agent created. And we can see here, yes, this is a join between the articles table and the user table. So it clearly understood uh, how the database is, uh, is structured. And here is the result that the agent finally uh, transformed into the markdown uh, output. 
And that's it. We just built a data analyst agent in about 15 minutes. Uh, so this is uh, the advantage that of Neuron's toolkit approach. Common use cases uh, become simple because you can create or other developers can create specialized set of tools that can work together. And the MySQL toolkit is just one example. Uh, Neuron has uh, toolkits to cover uh, various use cases are really built in into the into the default package. So if you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to uh, to hear your thoughts in the comment below and if you want to dive deeper, check out the links uh, in the description for more resources. So thanks for now.